How much of Luke's stuff are you still using? How much has been implemented by what Jawan's brought with him? You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's like just one person's sure. stuff. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's it's Michigan basketball, sure. and so obviously with Luke and Billy being the you know defensive defensive coordinators, right. you know they had a strong voice in it. Um, but you know I, I think that there will be a lot of similarities to what we've done in the past. Um, then we will have our own, you know, tweaks and adjustments that we're going to make moving forward. So, you know, it's, it's just about trying to get better and being very solid in our base, in our base fundamentals and our principles. And, um, you know, just growing daily and, and trying game to game and, and week to week as a team. You know you were so instrumental in Mo's development just now that you're with the Wings and have Franz. Now, what are some of the similarities between the two of them that you've Personality-wise, work ethic-wise, anything. Um, so, from a personality-wise, there, there's some similarities. I think Mo's a little bit more, you know, outgoing. But Franz is, you know, he's a funny guy. You know, like he's he's really done a good job of just um, embracing the culture, embracing what it means to be a student athlete. And um, obviously, it helps with him having some familiarity. I mean, like this is second home for the, the Wagner family. And so, um, you know, from a game perspective, I would say, you know, and I wasn't here Mo's first year, but I would say that Franz is probably, you know, a little bit ahead of him at the same age. Um, but, you know, he's certainly one that has some confidence in himself. And uh, I love working with him, you know, much like I did with Mo. Um, but, you know, they're two different individuals. And, um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pour into him um, if, if as much if not more than we did with Mo. X said the biggest difference was that Franz actually plays defense. No question. <laughs> no question. And I texted Mo that like after the first couple practices. I was like, this dude actually plays defense. Like I don't know what you caught it, you know, those first couple of years. So but uh, again I think a lot of that has to do with um, you know, Franz, a, a lot like Mo, uh, being able to play and have some pro uh, experience coming over here, but playing a different position, yeah. you, know, um, you know, Franz you know, is probably more athletic, a little bit more twitched than Mo was coming in, and uh, both very high IQ players. Uh, you know, Franz is shooting the ball pretty well right now. So, you know, we're, we're excited, you know, to, to, to have him and what he's going to bring to the program moving forward and, um, you know, we, we, we look forward to him to having a great career and hopefully even a bigger career than, than Mo did. What, when Juwan divided up different roles and responsibilities for each of the assistants, what did that process look like? How did you guys come to that conclusion? Well, we didn't come to anything. Mm -hmm. Coach, you know, kind of made those decisions. I mean, it's basketball, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I think the beauty of our staff, when you look at uh, H and, and Phil, like there's a ton of experience. Uh, you know, on their staff. We didn't just wake up one day and, all right, we're here to coach. And, you know, like Coach Phil has been doing it at a high level for 30 plus years. H, you know, been playing and coaching at the highest level, you know, for over 20 years. Same with Coach Juwan. And I've been here, you know, going on year 14. So, like, I think that, um, you know, we, we've done a lot of what we've always done, you know, individually in our different you know, career pass up until now. And so, you know, it's basically like, Coach, what do you need? That's what we're going to do. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to drive Coach you know, Juwan's agenda and uh, making this the best uh, Michigan basketball can be. What kind of difference do you think in the basketball Do you have any sense of what's going to change? I don't think it's going to change it dramatically because a lot of guys were already shooting from here. I think what you're going to see is in the corners where you have a smaller space, at least early on. Uh, spatially, you might see guys stepping out of bounds a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, I think it helps, obviously, with the floor spacing for overall game offensively. But I, I don't know that it's going to make any dramatic changes. Less threes? Definitely won't be less threes taken. <laughs> it, might be, it might be a few less threes right. made. But um, and you and you might see some 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 folks do some things uh, defensively, uh, systematically to maybe even encourage you know a little bit deeper threes because the line is extended. But 
you know, I think that's kind of a to be determined kind of thing, and we all find out together. Howard just said that he feels like for a guy like Dave, the the change as far as system is concerned mm -hmm. is going to allow him to maybe come out of his shell a little bit, play, mm -hmm. be a little more open, a little more free. Having been in the old system and now in the new one, can you kind of compare him for us and from your perspective how things are going to look and be different? Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I think change is good. And, um, you know, I, I think that, you know, although there are some similarities from the old to the new, uh, there are enough differences where I think where a guy like Dave could take advantage, you know, of, of his strength of being able to score the ball, um, a little bit more freedom to, you know, make some plays. But, I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, guys got to step up and absorb, you know, the system. Um, and, and, you know, we, we, we talk to our guys a lot about, you know, like eventually when you, whenever you leave here and take that next step, you could be playing for a different coach you know, every year of your professional career. And so how are you going to adapt and adjust, you know, from one year to the next? And so um, I think the learning curve for all of our guys have been uh, pretty good uh, in terms of how they look right now in ways. Um, and until we kind of get, you know, playing and get some different bodies who aren't as familiar with what we're doing, um, you know, we'll see.